It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to yet another video here on my channel. Today we're going to do something a little bit more different, but it's not actually different because recently this is the only thing that I've been doing and this is... A review! <coughs> a review. As you can see from the title below and I guess from the very odd start of that video, today we're going to be reviewing the DJI Tello. This thing, extremely small. When I did the math, it's 8 centimeters in length and 3 centimeters in width. Not a lot of math to be done actually. This thing is extremely small. So we are firstly going to go over the specs of this drone and what it's capable of uh, when it comes to the manufacturer. So what the manufacturer says it's capable of, which is actually not true. But anyways, I respect their claims. So we are going to test all of them today in this video. As you can see now, I'm holding the DJI Tello without any of the propeller guards, but it actually comes with four of them. Of course, there are four propellers, so why wouldn't they be like four propeller guards, right? So here are the propeller guards. They actually make the drone a little bit bigger, but also a little bit heavier. With the propeller guards and with the battery, the drone is 80 grams. Not much at all, I know. But what I've realized is that when I removed them, the drone became absolutely, undeniably much more stable. It was able to withstand some stronger winds and the connection was a little bit better in some kind of way. And also it was a little bit faster and it could go up without these shakes that it would do with the propeller guards. So if you are a little bit of more intermediate drone flyer, just remove those propeller guards. But if you are a beginner, do not risk your drone and actually learn to fly it and then throw these in the trash can. Actually don't because you can sell them for like six dollars. So 80 grams with the battery and with the propeller guards which again I threw but with them 80 grams. The camera of this thing 5 megapixels it can take up to 720p videos mp4 format so not full HD just HD and it can take some mediocre photos not amazing but not bad at all either. So if you are taking this drone for the camera, just don't do it. It's an amazing drone to have fun with and actually this is literally the motto of the drone. Feel the fun. So this thing is made to feel the fun. Another downside of the camera is that it does not have a gimbal so you can't just tilt it down when you when you want to and get that eagle view that you can get with pretty much every single one of DJI's drones. You can't do that here and there is no stabilization so when you move and if there's wind your foot is going to be like you get it. The battery of this thing is actually able to stay for like 30 minutes is what they say but what I'm going to tell you is that with the propeller guards you will get around 9 minutes of light time or at least that's what I get and once I remove the propeller guards I realize that I'm getting around 11 to 12 minutes of light time so here is another reason to remove the propeller guards once you can but you will certainly not get around 13 minutes of light time 12 more achievable but 13 absolutely impossible the Tello is able to fly up to 30 meters in height and can fly up to 100 meters in distance but there is a little tiny detail here a little one and this detail is that if you want it to fly for like 100 meters in distance you've got to buy this a Wi-Fi repeater and let me tell you this will make a huge difference because I've been flying that drone for one month and a half now and what I've realized is that it's very annoying because I'm flying for like 15 to 20 meters and it's already losing its connection and I get that jittery, jittery fluid. <laughs> but on top of that, it's all cut, 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 like you go left. <laughs> you get it. So if you are considering to buy the drone, definitely consider buying one of these Wi-Fi repeaters. This is the Xiaomi one and it's really nice and I think that it is what everybody uses when it comes to the DJI Tello. So spare around $10 for this repeater because this is for how much is being currently sold at. So I'm going to just leave a link down in the description below together with all of my camera gear including the DJI Tello. So in conclusion for distance you can't go above 20 meters in height without the repeater and you can't go 20 meters or 30 meters in distance without the repeater. And when you do get above 
like 20 meters, 25 meters, the only thing that you're going to see is crash and then you crash and you don't even know where this came out of. You just don't. No drone, no tello. You get it, fly safe kids. Now you may be wondering, isn't there a controller for that drone so I can extend my range even more than 100 meters with the Xiaomi a Wi-Fi extender? Well, there is a controller, but it does not have any range extending function. The only thing that you can do with that controller is just have more fun, because actually the only thing that it's going to do is just make the process of connecting the DJI Cello to this thing, to the controller, to the phone. The process is going to become much more tedious than it is, and it's actually really tedious, boring and long. It took me like 15 minutes to connect the DJI Cello with the Wi-Fi extender and with my phone the first time and 8 minutes every single time afterwards. So believe me, you don't need one of these controllers and on top they are like 50 to 60 dollars or I think that's how much. But even if it's 30 dollars, it's definitely not worth it if you ask me. Now another thing that you have to know about this drone is that it has a normal mode uh, which is a little slow and I guess it's a bit more cinematic, you can get some more cinematic shots. But there's also a sport mode which can make the drone go up to 8 meters per second, which is approximately 21, 19 kilometers per hour, which is pretty fast for that little thing. And it's actually really fast, I've seen it and I'm really impressed with it because this is my first drone and to see how fast these things are, wow, that's amazing. And when you can see that the other drones like the Mavic Air is uh, capable of reaching 49 kilometers per hour, but this thing 21 kilometers per hour. This is pretty impressive too But just know that if you're using that sport mode you are going to get the footage from <laughs> to <laughs> Again you get it. Uh, I think we're done with the specs So let me tell you how to use this thing. What you need to do in order to use the DJI Tello is firstly download the DJI Tello app Personally, I use an iOS device, so I go to the App Store and then I just type in Cello, but it's similar to an Android device because the name of the app is just the same. You can see the first thing that pops out is the Cello app and you can see that this is the little Cello, so you can't mistake it for anything else. As you can see, I've already downloaded it, so I'm just going to open it. When you actually open the app, this is what you're going to see. Now you've got instructions on how to connect the little thing, you just, just do that and once you have done it, you're just going to see the picture from the camera of the drone. In order to connect the DJI Cello with the app, you firstly get to turn on the little button here on the side of the drone. This one, just press it once and then you're going to see that the drone starts to blink. Now it's going to blink in all colors that they are in the rainbow, I don't know why they've done it like that, but then just leave it, it's going to just calibrate all the sensors and once it's ready, it's going to start blinking in a yellow light as you can see here. Once it does that, just leave it on the ground or you can also get it in your hand and throw it like that and start flying with it, but for the sake of this video, we're just going to do it like this. So we just turn it on, we go into the app as you can see here and now we're just going to connect to the cello and now you can see that I get the picture from the camera of the drone. I say let's fly the little drone in my room a little bit because why not? By the way, I'm going to turn on the light here because as much lighting as there is, the better because these sensors here work best when it's actually lit up and I do not recommend you to fly the little drone at night because these sensors will not see anything and they'll just say I'm out bro just do everything by yourself and once they say that you're screwed You can see it, really small, and once it detects my hand, it's going to go up, these are the DJI sensors, see that? Alright, and now let's land it. You've got a function to land it in your hand and that's what I'm going to do right now.
Wow. The lighting is not very good and I think that this is why the hand landing doesn't work. Once this happened and I was going to crash the drone. So be careful with that hand landing. It's actually really buggy. I'm just going to land it on the bed. Alright, I didn't land it on the bed because it could have just ripped all of my bed sheets. So I'd rather not risk that. I landed it here on the little table. I just saw this is how the little thing flies. It's really stable. As you, see, as you can see, these sensors down really play a vital role in the reputation of this little drone. But anyways, let's stop with the talking today. Let's just skip to the other day when it's actually day outside. And I'm going to show you a flight with the drone with a Wi-Fi extender and without it so you can get what the difference is without it and with it. All right, everybody, so here we are. We are in some kind of a field just near my home and the only buildings around me are those ones and they're pretty far away, I'd say about 100 meters, which is, which is I guess enough. It's about four and a half o'clock and I checked the weather. We are dealing with about five to six kilometers per hour wind, which is uh, relatively strong, but not actually. I think the Tello will be able to deal with it too, even though we are going to get it up in a 50 meter altitude, which is a bit high, but I think it will be able to manage it. Anyways, we're not going to talk too much because my camera's battery is running a little bit low. I have charged the Tello, but I forgot my camera, so yeah. Firstly, we're going to try the Tello without the wireless extender so that you can see how the footage looks like and how far it can go. We're going to go with the standard mode, not the fast mode, because it's really shaky and I would not like you to see it. Maybe we'll go in fast mode when I plug in the wireless uh, extender so we can have some fun. But firstly, let's go into normal mode without the wireless extender just gonna turn the tello on real fast here as you can see it's blinking in all colors we are waiting for it to start blinking in yellow there we go as you can see i'm going to be holding it in my hand we're going to go with the throw and go function uh, which is actually you just take it in your hand and you throw the thing and it starts flying by itself we're going to do that without the wireless extender and then we're going to just make it fly from the ground with the wireless extender so that you can see the difference I guess even though there is not much difference it takes off in any kind of way so that's what really matters to me personally by the way guys I personally say that the wind is a little bit stronger than six kilometers per hour because there are some fluctuations and sometimes it's uh, strong then it goes like non-existent but we're going to deal with it I hope now I'm going to turn on the screen recording all right are you ready I say, let's fly! As you can see, my connection is already going yellow, which is really bad. Alright, we are going somewhere. As you can see, the tello is not moving. I am pushing the right stick as much as I can, but the wind is, I guess, too strong. But at least it's not getting blown away. So that's a good sign. As you can see, the wireless connection just got really bad, so I'm going to take that guy out here because I don't want it to crash before I've plugged the wireless ex uh, extender. And I don't really want it to crash in any kind of way either. So did I show you how far away I was? All right, so. I'm about that far away and the connection is yellow as you can see on my screen recording. Really damn bad. So I say let's get this guy back to me and let's plug it to the wireless extender, shall we? Alright, let's land it. Now I'm going to try the hand landing function and I hope that this time I won't break anything. It's, it's lit up enough, so let's try it. go so that was easy and now we are going to go with the wireless extender here is the Xiaomi wireless extender if I didn't mention that I'm using this one because actually when you remove the cap 
it's a USB. Pretty damn comfortable because here outside I don't have a power socket to where to, um, in order to plug it. So I'm just going to use this and you're asking where am I going to plug it and this power bank I'll answer. You can really put it wherever you want to. I mean I can put it in that pocket and I think it will be really comfortable but I'd personally go with uh, this pocket because I don't know it seems a little bit more convenient Woo. so there we go now I've got the wireless extender on my chest and we're going to be all good to go so let's get the little guy flying and have some fun all right guys I want to apologize for yesterday because yesterday I told you that uh, I set up the wireless extender for 30 minutes the first time I used it and then eight minutes every time afterwards in fact I only used it one time afterwards and it actually took me like five minutes and now I just turned on my phone I plugged in the wireless extender and it already automatically connected which is pretty convenient and I want to apologize because I was not right to say that it is not really convenient and well thought of so I want to apologize for that and know that it is really easy to connect the thing once you set it up in the first time let's stop talking and let's start flying you're going to see my screen recording again somewhere on the screen and you're going to see the footage from Otello on the screen again we are going into normal mode not fast mode for now maybe we'll just turn it on later but now let's go is what i say Last time I got it up for like five six meters now I'm going to just bring it down here because that's too much it's really windy all right let's go forward I'd say that at this point we already broke the no wireless extender range so pretty damn good Alright, I say let's land him. Woo! I almost got my camera. Alright guys, you saw what the difference is with and without the wireless extender. Pretty damn impressive with the wireless extender and I say that if you're going to buy the drone, buy it with the wireless extender so that you can actually have a lot of fun with it. My camera is running really really low on battery so I'm going to stop recording right now because I'm going to cut in any second. If there's something that I've forgotten to do I'm just going to do it tomorrow but if there isn't I just want to share with you how I got that drone and roll the footage real fast. Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to Here we go, here we go again Call my bluff, I'ma be here till the end I'm the one you ride, I'm the one you ride to If you don't wanna change Ain't no place to hide, ain't no one to run to If you don't wanna change I can Yeah, 
after that super cute footage that is actually nudging you to subscribe to my channel and you should listen to it I say and yeah guys I'm really thankful for my girlfriend and for that gift it is amazing I really got into the world of drones with that little guy and I'm grateful for her and for this present of her so I think that I'm going to just say bye now and I'm going to see you either for the end of the video or to show you something else that I've forgotten to do right now so guys this is it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it and of course if you did smack the like button press it gently if you will just make sure it's blue also don't forget to leave a little comment down below ask me something write something just do it because I appreciate it also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell so you can see my upcoming videos in the future and guys me and this little guy are going to say bye so just don't forget stay healthy stay positive learn enjoy grow and I'll see you in the next one